Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, um, let's go ahead and dive in. This is going to be a career and finances reading. All right, for the month of June 2024. So let's see what you guys can expect um, or what you may be able to expect for June 2024. All right. Please only take the messages that resonate with you, okay? Don't try to force it to fit if it's not your story. And I apologize for the shaking of the camera, guys. I'm working on it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Big Eye Spirit Team of the Highest White Light, please be with me through this video for the Libra Collective. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please block or remove any negative energy, spell work, or evil eye intent that may be sent this way. And protect me as I channel the messages at this time. I say, amen. All right, so I'm hearing opening up a bank account or like a credit account. Somebody may be getting like credit cards or like a bank statement or like a business um, account or something like that, okay? Maybe starting your own business, okay? I'm hearing new financial situation, new financial institution. I'm picking up star energy. The star card is about, um, I'm hearing abundance, but it, and Aquarius, you may have Aquarius placements in your chart. You can have Aquarius in your North node or, or your, uh, sun, moon or rising. Okay. You can also have Aquarius in your Jupiter placements or Saturn or Lilith placements. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's see. Career and finances for Libra. Career and finances for Libra. I'm hearing stability. I'm talking about the star energy. The star is about wish fulfillment. Okay, wish is granted. So I'm getting like you're going to fulfill some type of wish or something financially. Okay, Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck come through. Yes, Queen of Pentacles. So some of you are very ambitious. You're very um, driven. Okay, you could be like, like I said, an entrepreneur. Okay. All right, so Libra, what does Libra need to know about Korean finances, please, for, for June 2024? <clears throat> Okay. There. Okay, let me get more. Hold on. What does Luke need to know about career and finances in 2024? Why is this here? I'm getting like a sabotage. Yeah, okay, there it is. That's because I'm getting like a sabotaging type of energy, okay? And you do have the devil card here. So something, um, there's an offer that could be coming in. Somebody wants to work with you, collaborate with you. This could be a new job offer. Um, somebody wants to partner with you or something like that. Um, I'm hearing increase your finances. I'm getting like scammer type of energy. Like somebody being like, oh, if you do this and this and that, 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 then I can help you increase your finances or something. I feel like something is a scam. All right. I also feel like someone may be trying to uh, sabotage your business, your money, your, you know, things like that. If you have your own business or if you're trying to start something. And if you're trying to start something, just be aware that there are you know especially it, uh for people in your field for people that do the same things as you do like if you're a nail tech if you're um a fashion to clothing designer you know whatever business that you have other people in your field may try to like sabotage your work or your name or something like that um, this could even be people like in the workplace trying to sabotage you people that you work with if you don't have to you know own your own company or be an entrepreneur you could just be like whatever it is that you do people could be trying to sabotage you manipulate you um I, somebody too could be in a very toxic and work toxic work environment okay um i feel like the sooner you can get out of that the better you know what i'm saying like definitely have a plan in place um, for what you would do, you know, if you quit your job, you know, have another job lined up or maybe you getting, you know, you're getting something off the ground, but definitely have a plan in place. But I'm getting like the sooner you can get away from the situation, the better. All right. 
Okay, what else does Libra need to know about career and finances, please, Spirit? What else? June 2024, Libra's career and finances. Okay, you have the King of Swords. Leo, Gemini, or Virgo energy could be significant. Who's this King of Swords? Who's this King of Swords here? Okay, Justice. So something's going to be balanced or worked out. Um, if you have a legal situation going on with something with work or finances or something's going to be made right or made fair when it comes to your career, to your work. Okay. King of Wands. Hmm. Okay, somebody, my bad, I was looking at the other cards. Because there's two energies here. Give me a card for this King of Swords. Because uh, I'm getting like a court thing, like a court type of situation. Yeah, the King of Cups showing up too. Okay. Give me the King of Wands energy. Mm, okay. And why is it justice? Give me the justice energy. Okay. Ace of Cups. So I am seeing like, um, an opportunity or a situation coming back around here. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like you're gonna have like an option or a choice or, or something to make, a decision to make. There may be someone, I'm getting like competing, I'm getting competitions to like competing for your, I don't know, just say you're like, I'm hearing brand, like brand ambassador or something. Just say you're like an influencer or something. I'm just using that as an example. But say you're like a um influencer, you have a channel or something like you um Instagram, you're like a I don't know. <laughs> but um somebody you could be trying to figure out like what company you want to go with best, like who what best represents your what what best represents you? I don't know. It's it's weird. <laughs> Cause it's like a choice or a decision that you have to make. Like somebody wants more than one person, more than one company, more than one group wants to work with you, wants to give you an opportunity, wants you to, you know, um represent them or wants, you know, sponsor you or something like that. Um, more than one company wants to hire you, okay? Um, and it's like, you're going to have to kind of weigh out your options, go back and forth here. Okay. Could be two or three people, uh, companies or something competing with you. All right. Yeah. Three, three of pentacles. So it could be three people that want to work with you. This three of pentacles talks about a collaboration coming together, working together. So yeah. Um, somebody definitely, there's, I see like three three major like groups companies three jobs want to hire you maybe there's three um like oh, what am i trying to say <laughs> maybe there's like three different like um new you know uh businesses or whatever that you want to explore or something i feel like you're being really stressed out about this and you're kind of like needing a break needing to just take some time to figure something out here but i am seeing um, you know, someone, some group, some company, some brand or something like that competing for your attention or you trying to figure out what it is that you want to put your hand into, what it is that you want to put your name on. Yeah, you got new deals, new things coming towards you, communication coming, um, people want your attention. Yeah, you can have cancer placements in your chart, Aries or Gemini. Or Virgo placements in your chart, okay? Yeah, there's good news coming in. You're going to have to stand your ground, though, when it comes to this decision. Like, you making the best decision for you. I'm getting a lot of communication, a lot of back and forth. Like, you could be very busy, 
Okay. All right. Tell me more about um, June for real finances for, for Libra. Okay. You have Leo strength. You have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like a Queen of Pentacles again. Hmm. There is some situation that you're going to know, and I feel like you're going to know it when you when it presents to you. You're going to know which opportunities that you need to turn down, walk away from, which opportunities are not going to work out for you, which, you know, you're going to figure out what's a scam, what's real, or the best opportunities for you. It may be overwhelming. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be overwhelming for you, but I feel like in the end, you're going to have the right tools and the right knowledge and everything to choose the best, um, the best option for you. Okay. So let's see. I do see new opportunity, new, um, things coming towards you. The Ace of Wands talks about new creative ideas. Okay. Doing something new creatively, finding the strength to do something that you may be afraid to step into. Okay. So if you're, if you are branching out on your own, wanting to become this entrepreneur, um, as something like that, or you're just starting anything new, moving to a new city, new job, you may have to relocate for something. I'm getting, um, you're going to have the strength to do that. Like you're going to overcome whatever fears or doubts or whatever that um, you have about that, okay? And you have the four of wands out here, which is about stability. So I am seeing that um, one of these options, one of these opportunities, one of these business relationships or partnerships or whatever will offer more stability at first like something looks really stable at first, but you really have to make sure that you are doing your due diligence when it comes to what this is. I feel like for the other one, it's going to be um, maybe something slower. Like it's going to take a longer time to build. You're really going to have to plan and really put in the work and work hard to build from it. But it's going to be worth it in the long run, okay? So, again, you're just going to have to kind of figure out what works best for you. I see something being, you know, quick and fast, but it may not end the best. Or it may not, I don't know. Yeah, I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Because um, I'm seeing, like, something quick. Like, you know, anything that comes quick goes just as quick, right? Um, it's like somebody is like, hey, I'll give you $50,000 if you, you know, all you have to do is just partner up with me. And you're like, what am I partnering up for? And you're like, ah, it don't really matter what you sign in. Just sign it. You're going to get the money. And it's like, it's fine. And then you end up like signing your life away or signing some bad deal or, you know, something like that. Or somebody is like, hey, I, I want to um, start this business and you can be a partner for only $10,000 or $5,000 and you give them your money and then you never see this person again, right? Or, you, <laughs> I don't know, it's something like that. The other way is going to be something that's going to take a little longer. You're going to have to really plan, put time and effort into it, but I feel like the reward will be worth it in the end, okay? So, let's see. Libra, Korean finances. I hope that makes sense. Or maybe somebody's trying to sell something. Like, maybe you want to... Somebody's like, oh, let me buy your car. Or somebody's like, you know, wanting to buy your house or something. And it wants to be a really quick sale. And you're like, okay, that's just easy, fast money. But, I don't know, this person's like check bounces. Or, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird energy from, from one of these offers, okay? So, just make sure you're doing your due diligence and weighing your options and doing all your homework and everything like that, especially before you sign anything, okay? All right, so Libra Career Finances, June 2024. What else do we need to know? What's coming for Libra? June C House. Look, look at that house right there. Okay, this talks about success. This talks about success. Okay. You could be a feminine energy that I'm connecting with here. With the lady card coming out. Oh, somebody about to be 
and a commitment, okay? This isn't like a love reading, but I do see a commitment, a marriage. You have the home and the bride here. And both of these, the home card talks about success in all ventures. Um, if you're going through a tough situation right now, the future is going to be better for you. And, and this house card also predicts marriage. Okay. And the bride card ensures that a single, ugh, sorry, ensures for a single person, the fulfillment of their highest aims. So whatever it is that you're, um, you know, aiming for, you got success and fulfillment here. So some of you, that you're going to get, somebody's going to get married or meet the person that you're going to marry. You're going to be in a long-term commitment. For some of you, this may be you having to relocate to a new home for your career. Maybe you're um, signing a contract, long-term contract for a new business or for like, you know, like a five-year contract or something. And this business is going to pay you this much um, every year or whatever under this contract. Okay. So you could be marrying yourself, you know, marrying a new company or a new business or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Look at the, look at the deal, the handshake. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is looking good, Libra. All right, June 3rd could be significant. Um, February 18th could be significant. April 7th, somebody could be 47, 18. Somebody may have a three-year-old, a six-year-old, or a two-year-old, or 18-year-old. Okay, March 2nd could be significant. All right, what else do we need to know? Career finances. What else do we need to know? You have another card about residence, so changing the residence. Oh, for someone here, there's someone around you that, again, that energy that I was picking up on, that toxic energy, there's someone around you that is toxic, all right? Um, and again, this, this, we're talking about work, so this could definitely be in the work environment. This could be, again, if you're um, if you're in business for yourself or you work from home or whatever, this could be someone that is in your field that does the same thing as you do. Someone that's in some type of competition with you. Somebody that does not want you to win or be the best here. Okay. It could be another Libra, but this could just be you because it landed on this Libra. All right. For some of you, you're going to be, ooh, I almost said in bed with a Scorpio. <laughs> okay. So this um, marriage... Or this merging, you could be in business with a Scorpio, or you could be in a relationship with a Scorpio. You could also be with the person that uh, you may meet someone at work, or you may start working with someone that, you know, it goes from a work relationship to a friendship and blossoms into something deeper, okay? Um, you may be, um, yeah, meeting someone or with someone now that you are going to not only marry or be in a long-term commitment with but you're also going to do business with this person you're going to be like a power couple type of situation okay but there is someone here the strong presence of someone that is like maybe trying to like take you down um or something like that so let's pull on that energy and see what you need to know about that let me see if anything comes from here Tell me about this mighty enemy. Why is that here? Tell me about this mighty enemy. Yeah, I'm just getting like somebody kind of hating on your like success. And right when I said that the star, and I was saying something about the star earlier, right? Before we even started, I said I was picking up on star energy. And you have the star coming out here, okay? And it says the star assures success in all enterprises, okay? 
you have that out here three times success in all ventures um fulfillment of your highest aim success in all enterprises yeah i just feel like this enemy is going to be someone that's trying to take you down they're trying to you know i'm hearing from the inside so again this is somebody in your work environment somebody's trying to take you down from the inside yeah there's something about an enemy Oh, what is this? Because it keeps coming up. Somebody is just not going to be, like, happy for you or trying to... Uh, let's see. Tell me about this enemy person. You weren't supposed to turn into that, but this is, it keeps coming up. So, I'm going to see what it's about. Somebody that's holding a grudge against you. For what reason? I don't know. Some of you may have like a website. Okay. Like you may you may um, have a website for your business or you may be creating one. <laughs> to start drama so move in silence yeah Feel like you're not dealing with this person anyway they just kind of see something somebody could see something that you post and i think i was saying something like i don't know if i said that here or i can't remember what i said but something about keeping things to yourself or not letting people know your business or what you have going on you got a black car here somebody got a black car either you or them tell me about this uh mighty enemy for Libra. It's like somebody sees you doing well and they get, or it sees you happy and they get instantly mad or jealous, okay? This could be somebody that you were in, um, had some, you know, type of love situation with. Somebody that you used to sleep with, deal with, date, whatever, okay? Yeah, definitely someone toxic. Okay? Toxic, karmic, being ex, you got somebody you dodged a bullet by not dealing with this person. Somebody that could have had you involved in third parties. I don't want to turn it into this. Let's see. I'm gonna pull a few more and then I'm gonna go to the tea loop bag. <laughs> Tell me about this enemy. Yeah, it came out. I can't make it up. Dodge the bullet. Yeah, you dodge the bullet by moving on from this person. Okay. And this could be anybody. It could be a love situation. It could be a family member. It could be a co-worker. It could be an ex-friend. Okay. Um anybody but whoever this person is like this secret enemy or frenemy or whatever they um it's like they're trying to destroy you so this per this may be somebody this may come and you may or may not know this person okay it could be coming in the form of somebody leaving bad reviews somebody trying to you know saying don't go there or Libra don't know what they're doing or um Libra da, 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 da. like somebody just trying to throw salt on your name on your game to like deter people away from working with you or dealing with you okay somebody that um could be somebody in a workplace that doesn't want you to get the promotion or you know whatever okay yeah this person is always looking you up so I could drive a silver car either you or them all right, so I'm gonna just leave that alone because I'm not gonna get in that too much time and energy. All right, let's pull, let's go to the tea leaf deck and see what comes out. <sighs> Look at that. Dang, I didn't even know it was right there. <laughs> Look at that. Star. What does it say? Guaranteed success. Yes. 
somebody just don't want to see you go. This could be a like a boss or, uh, you know, somebody that doesn't want to just see you go. They don't want to see you leave. You could even be leaving to, like, go work for the competition. <laughs> okay, there's that marriage card. Mm -hmm. And this could be either romantic or in business, so take it how it resonates. You got two star cards that popped up here. All right, Libra. What does Libra need to know about career and finances, Spirit, for June 2024? Okay, triumph over obstacles. Yeah, you're winning, Libra. You're winning. You're overcoming those obstacles, all your hard work paying off. Okay, someone new is entering your life. Again, this could be a new business partner, all right? Or this could be a new person, somebody that you're going to do business with and do life with, okay? Libra. Okay, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. That could be why you no longer want to work for someone or deal with some situation here. Okay. I see great happiness up here coming out. Okay, career. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You have, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift with spiritual love and career. I'm just feeling like doing something that you really love that brings you a lot of joy and happiness, okay? I do feel like that, okay? I do feel like, too, um, whoever this stubborn-ass person is, could be a boss, co-worker, could even be like a lover. Like I said, we're not trying to make it about that, but it is showing up here. Um, but I feel like that person is exiting your life or you're walking away from this person, okay? And it's bringing in somebody new. However it happens, either you meet somebody new and walk away from some situation or somebody new is coming in after you walk away from some situation, all right? But it looks like your career is going to be bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of success, okay? You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Somebody could gift you like a diamond, a necklace, some jewelry, a ring, um or anything like that, okay? Again, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Mm-hmm. All right, Libra, 2024, career and finances, Libra. Oh, yeah, didn't I say that enemy coming out? Force is working against you. Somebody is not happy for you. Could be a Scorpio. You'd have Scorpio placements. Could be a Leo. Now is the time to act. If you would think, if you're hesitant about something, if you don't know whether you should go ahead and do that thing that you've been putting off, start that business, whatever. Now's the time to act, all right? It's time to do that now. Mm. And don't don't be so quick to think that you got everything figured out, Libra. Like, don't be delusional in that way, like thinking, oh, I can do this, I can just put my foot in this, and I can just start this, and everything's just going to pop off right now, right now, right now. Man, that's that energy that I, that I was talking about earlier, like, anything that comes fast doesn't stay long, you know what I'm saying? If you work hard at something and really plan and build it and put your all and your effort into it, then you'll see, like, a better, a more lucrative and a more satisfactory outcome, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like don't be so delusional to think that you just know everything or you just watch one video one time and you think that you, okay, I can do that. All right, let's get, let's get to it. Or you, you know, you're on a job and somebody shows you how to do the, the job one time. You're like, all right, move. I got it. Like, no, make sure that you're watching the videos, seeking out the information. If you don't understand something, find the answers. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure that when whatever you're putting out there is you're going to be very proud of it, and it's going to be the best out of anything that anybody else in that field does, all right? So, yeah. Okay, Libra, get into the bag. Something important such as a new job or a career, yeah. Okay. Confirmation, thank you, Spirit. Something about an older woman could be significant. I'm hearing frightened. So, there's an older woman that's frightened about something. I don't know what that's about, y'all. But you have bold, plenty of material things. And hidden secrets can harm you, okay? 
that feels some that feels like something to do with your personal life. Hidden secrets, this older woman, you have parting of the ways, either romance or business and discord among family. Um, you may even have like if you have like a family business or something like that, or you work with family, there may be some issues there, maybe because you want to branch off and do your own thing. Um yeah, let me I'm gonna pull one more deck. Okay, Angie. Clearing. <laughs> and let's see. Alright. How do we want to wrap this up for Libra, please, here? Give me a final message for Libra regarding their career and finances June 2024. Give me. How do we want to wrap? Here, the stars are aligned, okay? Okay, you have crumbled. Give me one more. Manifest. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have one more. Individuality. Mm. I'm hearing the end is not really the end. So you may think that something has fallen apart, that it's not, um, something is not going to manifest or something is not going I'm, I'm telling you now Libra the best thing that you could do especially if you're in business for yourself is be yourself okay just by being you being your true authentic self people are going to gravitate towards you and love your energy okay you may think that you're being weird you may think that you know people are not going to like your product or like your energy or like the way you talk or whatever okay but i'm telling you people are going to really appreciate your originality your individuality and your spunk your sassiness your whatever okay um yeah, I'm thinking June 16th could be significant. June 2nd, somebody could be 53. Somebody could have a 16-year-old or a 2-year-old. February the 16th could be significant. All right, May 3rd may be significant. I'm getting whatever has, let whatever is falling or crumbling in your life, let that happen. That has to happen in order for you to manifest your dreams in order for to make room for the things that you want okay the affirmations on this card says i choose courage my voice matters abundance finds me i am love okay so if you're if you're resonating with this reading if you're claiming this reading go ahead and put Excuse me. Go ahead and put abundance finds me in the comment section. Like this video, okay? Because I really feel really great energy off of this card, okay? I do want to read this manifest card for you guys. Let's see. What do we have? I'm going to I'm going to read all of them by the fact y'all can cut it off the video if y'all want to but I'm going to read them all, okay? So the great combo. This is actually air and fire element, so this is definitely for you, okay? You can have um other air placements, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You can have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart, okay? It says destruction, unexpected shifts, liberation comes with loss. This card means that there are cracks in your foundation you can't ignore. You're shaken to your core and left wondering where to go next. Question what you're building, who you're building with, and why. The silver lining, whatever falls, was destined to crack. A breakthrough will soon come. Exactly what I just said. All right, so let's go to manifest. This is, um, okay, it says manifestation, manifestation techniques, affirmations, visualization. You are a magician and an alchemist. Speak truth to your desires. Take aligned action, gather your resources, and pour your heart into your goals. This card means that they're, sorry, this card means that you are at peak power right now and have everything you need. Control your thoughts and words. And I think I said that as well. Okay. Um, you have everything that you need. And the last card is individuality. And that's the end. This is the last card of this deck. So this is telling me that this is 
like you made it you overcome you overcame those obstacles you are where exactly where you want and need to be this is the very last card of the deck and you got it at the end all right it says you're one of one this card means your unique gifts are being highlighted at this time a space only you can occupy a role tailor-made for you born to stand out from the crowd and be recognized for it fitting in is overrated you may feel ostracized or misunderstood in your non-conformity but that's a small price to pay for being special all right you got it libra so i'm gonna leave you here i hope this helped don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you have not already hit the notification bell so that you are notified when i post more videos and i'll see y'all later all right bye